tired of my butt being in the camera. You got it? Seven? Is it seven? Oh, yeah. Look at your watch here. Yeah, almost. Close almost. enough. 25 seconds. 25 seconds. I have a good song for you tonight. Oh, that's me. Hello, welcome to Comp Live. <laughs> we are on page. Who one. are you? Oh, I'm Emily Tess, and this is... Father uh, Mike Tess. <laughs> and we will be on page 127. Do I, am I, it's still me? It's all you. <laughs> okay. Just here for my good looks and charm. <laughs> the, You're the brains. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty, Almighty God, Father, our heavenly our Father, Father, we have, we have sinned, sinned against you through our own fault, fault in thought and word and deed, and what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. So how do you do the, the absolution without me? Go ahead. May the, may the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, so and to the, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now, and will, will be, be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. I have a psalm. Are you reading it? I am reading it. Okay. How many psalms are there, Emily? I don't know. 150. So this is Psalm 130. What page? Oh, it's, it's different. On, it's fine. It's on 784 in the Book of Common Prayer. Well, it's not. It's right, I have the Bible edition, so. So uh, it's actually on. 130. Is 780. 784. <laughs> okay, you're right. Oh, and you're in Calc. <laughs> All right. Out of the depth have I called to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ear consider well the voice of my supplication. If you, Lord, were to note what is done amiss, O Lord, who could stand? For there is forgiveness with you, and therefore you shall be feared. I wait for the Lord. I wait. My soul waits for him as, as in the words, as, as his word is my hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than the watchman for the morning. More than the watchman for the morning. O Israel, wait for the Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy, with him there is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all their sins. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. <laughs> be sober, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him firm in your faith. Thanks be, be to God. God. So, um,. <clears throat> So, um, I want to talk about full circle. So, where Adam goes to school, there's a big woods that's attached to the university called Schmigley. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. And when I was training with Dennis Hall in Stevens Point, I would run in that woods. And there's little signs with famous people's sayings along that path. And I... Um, I always wanted, I called him once, 
and they told me the the foresters the forest rangers told me and um i lost it and then i said adam if you're ever running through um it's from enos mills who is the father of rocky mountain national park i said if you're ever running through just catch it for me and so he texted me um in Adam fashion, out of the blue and one line. <laughs> That's a lot for Adam. <laughs> Practically uh, his uh, life story. Full speech, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and here's the quote. The essence is in traveling gracefully rather than to arrive. The essence is to travel gracefully rather than to arrive. Um, watched a good part of the inauguration today. Um, watched our country do something it's done for, you know, Since the beginning. 17 something, I think, right? Um, and it just made me think about there was as I listened to the speeches there was a lot of asking for healing and for grace there was a lot of tradition um, and it made me think of our rituals and our journeys and our call um, in many ways um, the, the language that they have been using about sacred places and sacred ceremonies um, is our language. Um, and I just think, um, in the circle, I keep getting reminded that I talk too much. Um, and it's not just my kids, um, but um, all the circles of my life seem to be saying the same thing. And um, one thing that I have learned is that when the lesson is circling around you, you need to pay attention. So um, not only did I make a New Year's resolution to be better about it, um, the lessons, if you're looking, you, you can see things that you would miss if you weren't, if you're paying attention. So I was in a meeting today and I wrote in big letters right next to my notebook, listen, and I underlined it four times. Um, <clears throat> and I think about all the different levels of that. Listen to each other. Listen to the voice of God all around you. Listen to what your body and your heart and your soul is saying to you. Um, listen to the God of mercy, the God of forgiveness, the God of strength. Um, one of the things that captured uh, me was a quote, which is from Solomon. Um, when God asked him what he desired, he said, um, wisdom beyond my means and a discerning heart. Um, and that is, you will never grow wiser from talking. You can grow wiser from looking and listening. And so I, it was an up and down day for me today. Um, as I get closer and closer and things start to line up for the surgery. Um, and I need to listen to my heart. I need to slow my roll, as we say. Um, and ponder what God's trying to teach me in this part of my life. What is God saying to you? What do you hear when you quiet everything around you so you can hear your heartbeat and God has a space to speak? We fill our lives with white noise. We're, not, we're almost scared sometimes when there's not 
noise in the background. I'm, I'm reminded that you can't hear the crackle of the fire if there's noise around. You can't hear the wind blowing through leaves if there's too many distractions. Um, and that the voice of God is not less present than it was at the time of Christ. If we just slow and, and methodically, intentionally aim our hearts at listening. May you, as we do this journey together, hear the voice of God. May you hear the voice of love. May you hear the voice of joy and hope and peace. And may that voice stir up imagination and passion and healing and strength so we can be the light the world needs. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Any prayer time? 132. Got it. Go ahead. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Your words are Savior to our souls. For us, we are bold, bold to, to pray. pray. Pray, that's right. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, <laughs> hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. Let our cry come to you. Let us pray. What are we praying for tonight, Em? Well, that's a question for you, actually. <laughs> Well, um, want a special prayer for um, the racials, because um, Megan is um, and the whole family is um, overcoming COVID, and um, a couple of family members are getting through it, um, but a couple of members are still in the middle of it. Um, it is Lenore Shanahan's birthday today. Um, one of my favorite church musicians. So happy birthday, Lenore. Um, prayers for all those, Heidi reminded me of all those who are um, suffering or have suffered or all those who are mourning the loss of people who they lost from COVID. Um, so we pray in a special way for them. Um, I've been talking to a lot of doctors today and nurses, and so um, a special prayer for them, for all those that are not only dealing in hospitals with COVID, but all those who are supporting people and doing extra mitigation and all those who are keeping spaces safe, all those who are preparing schools and doing extra work and um, nursing home staff and um, all those who haven't been able to connect with family members and have the support they're used to. And um, our first responders, police officers, firefighters, and then EMTs, our college kids as they start to wind back up their colleges, their uh, second semesters. Um, and as we end the quarter um, and start the third quarter, um, extra grace for administrators um, and teachers and students. Um, for um, Wesley Adam, who is the Templin's little boy. Um, they've had him a week now, and he gets cuter by the day. Um, Repose of the Soul of Eileen Lake and Joan Elton's mom. Um, the Robbins family, Al and Jan Mang 
Mangani and um, Jan as she prepares for surgery. Jerry and Sue Seminole um, as they um, are doing well, but I want to remember them in our prayers. Um, Robert Jr. and family um, and Heidi um, Shire's mom. Kathy, who is um, the Boyle's um, Jason Boyle's sister, um, who is recovering from surgery and suffering from cancer. Um, Dr. John and Pat, Frank Baker, Gary Hardy, Marilyn Moore, Jean, Aunt Lucille, Gary Oates, Jane Scott, Joe Oates, Bob Irish, the Standing Committee, Sister Virginia, I pray for her for a while, um, Father Kessner, Father Karoon, um, Trinity, Prairie to Sheen, um, Ted and Janet, um, you as you prepare for your surgery, me as I prepare for my surgery, um, and, uh, an extra measure of grace to get everything done I have to get done, Michelle, my long-term sub, and Mrs. Lopez, my aide, um, grace for them as they, um, put the plans together to be without me for six weeks. Um, anything else? St. Prairie's wrestling team as they go into their first meet this Saturday in this crazy world we call COVID. Um, I want to pray for um, all those who work for justice and peace, and I want to use... Uh, in this week of Dr. Martin Luther King, I want to use um, an MLK quote. Forge the key and open the door. I love that. Um, gracious God, hear our prison and answer them as one you can. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Okay. Oh, our vets. I forgot our vets. And our National Guard who kept the capital is safe and are working across the country in the uh, state capitals. All right, what else we got? Um, you know, I'm a light guy. Be our light in darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy. Defend us from the perils and dangers of this night for the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, Lord, and guard us sleeping, that we may may watch watch with Christ and sleep sleep we may rest rest in in peace. peace. Lord, you have now set set your your servant servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Amen. Go ahead. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. So that was the second time you led. How did it feel? Good. You feel more, you seem to be more confident as you go through. I want to do um, Father Brian's blessing tonight. I really should, Mark B, shouldn't I? May your eyes be so blessed that you see God in everyone. May your ears be so blessed that you hear the cry of the poor. May your lips be so blessed that you speak nothing but the truth in love. May your hands be so blessed that everything you touch is a sacrament. May your feet be so blessed that you Run to those who need you, and may your hearts be so open and so set on fire by the love that changes everything. And may the blessing of Almighty God be yours this night.
now with Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. So how are you going to end it when you are in the captain's chair by yourself? Just report us for us to leave. All right. Well, how are you going to say goodnight to him? That's all. <laughs> good night. <laughs> That's all. Good night. All right. Good night. From uh, our living room to yours and from our hearts to yours, be well. Stay rested. See you Sunday, 10 a.m. Um, for our liturgy. Remember that um, the annual meeting for St. Barnabas is next Sunday at um, 11 o'clock. There will be coffee hour this Sunday at 9 o'clock. There'll be an invitation going out. Good night. God bless you. We love you.